Alright guys, and welcome back to another episode of the New Phoenix Colony here on Mars. Today we are prepping for this dust storm and hopefully getting some of these major research tasks done. Like the cipher, which is probably going to be our mystery event. So let's first check our water supplies, make sure everything's full. And... Then we need to get more fuel. It's gonna take another day to launch this rocket. Uh, let's change in the meantime. Ooh. That's our polymers running out. That's great. Let's actually use some of our resources here to try and get better deals. Let's trade machine parts for food. Let's just see how many, how much food people are willing to offer for machine parts, because we're currently getting 80 food. 200 food. We could do, let's do that one trade and we'll be good on food forever. Having 200 food is massive. Uh, other than that, let's see if we can do a trade for any metals. We'll offer some polymers. Hopefully, we'll get something, but I don't think any of the other colonies on the planet have metals to trade. 40, 50, 30. Yeah, no one has the extra materials. You have a good trade. 50 electronics, that's not a good trade. 50 food. That's not a bad trade. 50 food for 22 metal. That would be basically all the food we're acquiring here. For 80 metal. Which is, in the long run, is a win situation, but we don't have the fuel to set that up. We need to get some more fuel in, and we need this low G hydrosynthesis to be able to do that. Do we have any money? No, we don't. So we can't outsource any of our research. Our explorer has been broken. We need to go fix that. And set up a new transport. Let's do it here. Uh, bring that back to base. Thank you. How many metals is this producing today? 9.6. that requires machine parts so we've just spent 50 machine parts and we'll get those back after some amount of days in about eight days we'll have these 50 machine parts back so I don't think that's a big deal it might be a big deal because of these large wind turbines but it should be okay because the dust storm increases the amount of power they give so we'll be, we'll be able to charge these batteries nice and quickly. Um, do we need any other resources now, though? Sector Doesn't scan. really look like it. And another anomaly. Let's hope it's a good one. Alright, let's bring the commander back to base. And the USA is no no longer offering that route that we were just talking about. So we are not going to be able to take advantage of getting some metals from the USA. That's this. We're now struggling for fuel. So we need six fuel. Which is going to be overnight. We're going to turn this trade route off now just turn it into a normal landing pad for now because we don't need to make any more trades anomaly found though initially fruitless we recalibrated the so we found a large water deposit down here which is really good so we may later on we may be able to build a tunnel and then transport water from this site to our main dome site if we ever need the extra resources to be able to do so. Right now we don't. 
because we have a good enough water supply with these vaporators. Saying that though, this uh, has this this hasn't gone up yet. Okay, so it might is it? Yeah, I think we'll put this one next in the queue because it will get affected by this research jump. Are these all 60%? 65, 60, 60, 60, yeah. Let's queue some more sectors to scan. And make sure we're ready for this dust storm. Probably send this rocket back to Earth. Um, as soon as we can. We'll be able to get this final trade. Actually, we don't have the fuel to send it back to Earth in time. Well. It's unfortunate, but that's the way it works. Unless we built like six complete. Uh, fuel. We still can't even build them because I didn't complete it. Getting this completed. So we have 12 hours, we won't be able to, it's unfortunate, this rocket's going to just stay with us during this dust storm. Concrete for food, just not, will not willing to take that trade. Okay, let's just double check. Oxygen will last and water will last. Turn that off again. I've completely forgotten about that. And set up another. Let's. I don't know if setting up this tower is going to be worth it. We'll set up a smaller tower. Can we. I don't know if we can fit it anywhere except from this area though. Actually, we'll put it right there. We can hopefully. Sector scanned. Land this rocket. And where are the fuel refineries? Let's get another one of these down. Okay, so we're stuck with this rocket. And there's an anomaly. What have we got? Breakthrough. I hope that's a breakthrough that allows seniors to work. Because we now have two seniors. Um, but five children born, we're slowly getting to the the mark that we need, which is ten. Meteor shower incoming. And of course, a meteor shower with the dust storm is just perfect. I'm trusting that this explorer won't get broken. Got a meteor hitting just below here. And now everything has shut down. Is this water gonna last five days? Yes, it will. It's actually a really good thing that we built this water tower because it's using some of that stored water and taking less strain off the extra supportive systems. Um, now that we have two though, we're gonna turn off alternating shifts so we're using less water over time but we're still producing fuel so we got a cable fault so let's just salvage the fault and not do anything because these pipes are actually connected through the vaporator breakthrough discovered and superior pipes is exactly what we needed right now so we'll stick that after our cipher so we can progress our story bit. I don't know if this is our mystery, but I'm pretty sure it is. There's a concrete extractor that's not working. Why? Because the storage space for it is full. I'm guessing that means over here is stacked up, and it is. 
128 for 50 polymers. We don't need the concrete. Right now, our concrete is fine. We will build another large de uh, waste depot, though, because this is full. But we're making some good progress. Some very high comfort in the dome. And now it's just managing the dust storm with sanity and hoping that we get some more children to be born. Resources are low. Our machine parts? Are they? Where are all our machine parts? Do we need to build another... If I turn this on, does that go away? Alright, I will turn it back on though, because... Us not having enough machine parts is a pretty bad thing. Sector scanned. I could build another factory down here with this electronics factory. Got a power leak. Let's get that fixed up. And we're do we're doing pretty good for food now. We might want to research into this medical center. Let's. What so is this sector currently being? What sector is currently being scanned? Oh, it's this sector here. Could not see that for a second. We've got a pretty robust first section of our colony, though. We've got some good power, and it's doing quite well. As long as we play nice and compact, keep everything in a nice area, as long as a meteor doesn't hit us, we should be okay. Uh, where's that leak? Right, let's go to salvage. Just get rid of it. We don't actually need that pipe for anything, so that's fine. And when we, once we get superior pipes, we'll be doing even better. Right, but this story bit's about to finish. How much we do still only have, like... 16 fuel in our rocket. So two days left of the storm, one day until the meteor shower. We're draining through our resources now quite quickly. We don't have a lot of resources left, so we need to start prepping for like an expansion maybe. Like coming for these rare metals over here. Maybe coming over here for these metals. And these, this, this is a lot of metals. What else have we got? We've got this. Research complete. Oh, treasure hunt. It's a map. After quite the hassle with a strange coding, your scientists managed to decode the message from the strange pod. A new planetary anomaly has been discovered. X marks the spots. Alright, let's... We are pirates. Let's, um... Let's get that s scheduled to be sent up as soon as this dust storm is over in about two days. Three colonists, one transport. Preferably, I'd want the seniors to be on this rocket, just in case if something goes wrong, then we don't lose anyone of value. Whereas if the three adults die, we are back at square one. Vacant work slot one, which is on the farm. Sector scanned. We've got some more anomalies. Let's get those scanned. And now it's just... That is not... 
good. Are we actually, we are losing machine parts. Okay, so let's, let's uh, build some more factories then. Let's build these factories. This should be able to offset this. And we do have the power, especially during the dust storm to be able to do that. This immediately in the short term will hurt our machine part supply. And Europe's finally closed their research. That's not good. Wanted to take more advantage of that. But this is also going to hurt our metals. Because we don't have a lot of metals. This is going to be a response just after this ends. That's good. Resources are low. Water is low. Eh, it will last. The machine parts and the metals I'm now worried about. Anomaly found. Oh. We've just confirmed the location of a metal-rich deposit. A drilling accident turned to our advantage. Well, we've discovered a metal deposit, and there was another anomaly right next to it. Underground entrance. What's this? We'll scan this anomaly then. Uh, but I don't. I'm assuming this anomaly is for this because they're right next to each other. But I have no idea what this is. This is the first time I've seen the underground entrances. I've never played this DLC, so... This, this, ooh, there's a big hole down there. Let's bring this explorer back to base. And the underground. The pit is big enough to send the explorer down, however it's a one-way trip. Do not send the explorer down. We need the explorer. There's a lot of metals down here, which is good. How long is this dust storm going to last? 10 hours, so water's going to be fine. It's the metal situation I'm now worried about. These should give us the machine parts we need, so this is fine. But we are now running very low on metals. And I don't think we can do anything about that. Except from get ro Rover Command AI, which will set this transport on automatic traveling. Which might be good. Oh, the infirmary's not working. Why? Sector scanned. More anomalies and a lot more of more techs, which is pretty good. Meteor storm is hitting right next to these anomalies, though, so we we've got to be pretty safe. Oh, we've got some fifty machine parts for re. That's a good. That's a really good deal. If we just had them, if we had enough metals. Oh, the Eternal Summer wants to land. I forgot that the Eternal Summer was even part of our world. Treasure hunt, the treasure. It's become apparent that the cube is made of Martian concrete, not unlike the one you've been using. There are no doors, but after circling around the structure, the expedition discovers a distinct red circular shape that looks like a big red button. The expedition will return with 50 polymers, 50 electronics, and 50... Bruce. Okay. That's pretty good. I'm assuming that they... So it was like a Christmas present. Though. It was wrapped with colourful paper and red ribbons. So we found a Martian Christmas present. That's pretty cool. That'll also help us... Oh, we don't have the fuel. <laughs> Okay, now that the dust storm is over, let's build a couple more fuel refineries. We need the fuel pretty badly. Yeah. 
It is going to take metals, though, to build. And metals is just one thing we don't have a lot of. We are really low on metals. Please, can we trade for... We just can't. No one has metals. This is turning out to not be very good. Let's make another request. Let's try a concrete Anomaly for metal. Analyzed. We got some more. There's more to the back. We've got sustainable architecture and storage compression that's not bad let's analyze the other one the issue now is research we're getting bottlenecked by the how much are these later techs are going to cost us so we might need to go for martian patterns at some point to get some extra money um not sure what that's going to do for us but hopefully it does something helpful. All right, how are the senior citizens looking? So we've got six children, three seniors, and we need to land these, this rocket with people. And... Where are all our machine parts? We have 50 machine parts, but it... Oh, Anomaly we had three analyzed. machine parts. Now we have 50. A new text. What have we got? We've got... A hospital. And deep scanning. Deep scanning will be alright if we want to find some water deposits. But right now, we have no metal. Okay, let's go find some metal. We don't have metal. This is pretty bad right now, us not having any metal. Because our entire site requires machine parts and metals to run. I can break some things, like Resources are low. this storage, because we don't need that much oxygen. Where Resources are low. Yeah, they are. Sector scanned. Uh, where's our other oxygen? If I just turn this off. Yeah, we're fine. So that's going to give us some some extra metal just to hopefully survive this early. However, we do now need metal. The easiest way to get it is to trade for it, but no one can trade for it. Everyone can trade for everything else, just not for metal. We're going to get some money, though, from this guy. Alright, we're going to... This audio bug is going to... In the background, is going to annoy me. So, we'll end this here for now. I'm going to restart the game really quickly. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you all after I restart the game.